to us. A son will be given to us, and the government shall rest upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or his kingdom. He will establish it and hold it with justice and righteousness forevermore. And God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth in Galilee to a virgin called Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, who was a descendant of King David. Gabriel, the angel of God, appeared to her and said, Greetings, O favored one. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly disturbed by this greeting and wondered what the angel could mean. But Gabriel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God has chosen to bless you. You will become pregnant and have a son, and you will call him Jesus. And he will be very great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. Mary said, How can I be pregnant and have a baby when I have never been with a man? I am a virgin. Gabriel answered and said, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born to you will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Mary was still a virgin. She became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her fiancé, being a just man, decided to break the engagement quietly so as not to disgrace her publicly. But the angel of the Lord came to Joseph in a dream. Joseph, son of David, said the angel, Do not be afraid to go ahead with your marriage to Mary. For the child in her has been conceived by the Holy Spirit. She will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. All of this will happen to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophets. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with This fulfilled the prophecy from Isaiah that was uttered more than 700 years before Jesus was born. When Joseph woke up, he did what the Lord's angel had commanded him. He brought Mary home to be his wife, as she remained a virgin until her son was born. At that same time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census be taken throughout the Roman Empire. All returned to their own towns to register for the census. Since Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem of Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled from the village of Nazareth in Galilee to be registered in Bethlehem with Mary, who was great with child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger. <coughs> that night, there were shepherds in a field outside the village, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord was among them, the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were frightened. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be for everyone. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born this day in the city of Bethlehem, the city of David. 
and this is how you will know him. You will find a baby lying in a manger, wrapped in swaddling cloths. And suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host from heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. The angels left, and the shepherds said to each other, Come, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this wonderful thing the Lord has told us about. They ran to the village, and they found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in a manger. The shepherds went and told everyone what the angel had told them about this child. All who heard it were astonished. They returned to their fields, glorifying and praising God. Mary kept all these things in her heart. Her son, our Savior, had come to earth. 